Don't quote for me from a resolution of the General Assembly, which, does not, which is not obligatory. And CA resolutions are adopted by, by a majority based on lobbying and based on pushing. There is a dress code in Iran. That's the rule of law. You change a law through the legal mechanism. You don't change the law by objecting to the law in the street. You may like it or dislike it, but that's the rule of law. You cannot violate the law. It's as if you don't like a traffic light and you pass it and then uh, people give you a ticket and you say, I don't like this law, this is my freedom. Can you come here and tell me, because these guys outside are shouting, that we oppress these people, we're barbaric, we keep them under oppression, and they still support us. 73% turn out in every election, and it's not mandatory in Iran to participate in elections. 27% of the population don't participate in the election, and there are not, no drawbacks against them. 73% of the population participate in presidential elections and vote for their next government. Without them, we're nothing. You see, my friend, as I told you, if our government was trampling upon the rights of its people, as you seem to claim, 73% of the population would not turn out to vote. Homosexuality is illegal in Iran. Like wine is illegal in Iran. Drinking is illegal in Iran. So what will happen? If somebody drinks wine at his home, do we prosecute them? No. But they cannot exercise it in the street. Th th these are, uh, and there is no death penalty. Our law is based on Islamic code, and we don't hide it. Democracy in Iran brings people to power that wouldn't be brought to power here in Sweden. Huh? This is, this is real. You, I mean, okay. free and fair election in Iran, you won't get elected. So why so much f fuss about it? Thank you.